Hi friends, and welcome back to Raft. Today we're doing another mod showcase featuring a few mods that make farming a bit more interesting. In the base game, farming provides a reliable source of food and some resources to help you along your journey. These mods either make farming easier, change how items work, and even add in some new items to farm. As always, all of the links for the mods are listed down in the description below, and I encourage you to check any of them out that caught your eye. So without further ado, let's get into the farming mod showcase. First up, we have the Renewable Farming mod. In the base game, most crops have a limited chance to drop more seeds for the kind of thing you're farming, so you usually can't get a renewable food source other than potatoes and beets. However, those two crops are the least nutritious foods in the game, so you'll probably want something else. This mod just guarantees that you'll always get at least one seed back from any crop you farm, turning things like watermelons, pineapples, and flowers into truly sustainable options. That way you're less reliant on grilling something every 30 seconds just to stay alive. But if you did want to live off of beets and potatoes for an eternity, the Bigger Crop Plots mod may be for you. Exactly as the name would imply, it adds in larger crop plots. Ironically, the first size is actually smaller, planting just one crop, but then they get substantially bigger. All of these are squares, so they place pretty nicely together too. But you go from your little 1x1 one one square crop plot all the way up to an 8x8 eight eight square. It only takes one cup of water to water all of these, so it's actually pretty efficient too. One of my other favorite things about this mod is that if we open up our crafting menu and look at the descriptions for these crop plots, they start making progressively less sense as the plots get bigger. Like the one for the 7x7 seven seven square says that it holds very many crops, and the 8x8 eight eight crop says that it's too many to count. It's just 64. Anyone who plays Minecraft should know that. And it doesn't just grow potatoes and beets, but if you wanted a whole ton of them, this is the way to go. Anyways, next up we've got the Advanced Basic Cultivation mod, which adds in some more things that we can farm on our rafts. Whether you need a better source of seaweed, some silver algae, red berries, or mushrooms, all of those can now be grown from the convenience of a crop plot. Algae, berries, and mushrooms are all great for cooking pot recipes, and I'm gonna assume you know what to do with the seaweed. However, the algae needs to be watered three times to grow as opposed to the normal practice of watering everything one time. The seaweed needs to be watered ten times, but I guess that makes some sense considering you're trying to grow a marine plant above water, but whatever. Then we've got the Better Crop Plots mod, which is not to be confused with the Bigger Crop Plots mod from earlier. This is more of a quality of life thing but it allows you to harvest all of the plants from a crop plot at the same time. Simply just hold shift while looking at the plot you want to harvest, and bam, there you go. No more picking up individual potatoes every time. Now we can get into the less conventional farming mods. There's the custom growth speed mod, so you can either make your crops go instantaneously rather than over a few hours, or you could make your potatoes take four months, more like real life. I don't know why you would, but you could do that. Then some of these massive crop plots might be a little more helpful. Then if we run back over here, we've got the Super Soaker mod. So the sprinkler in the base game normally waters this little 3x3 area with a little bit of height if you place things correctly. The Super Soaker mod allows you to multiply that radius, so you can end up with something a little bit more like this which technically has a radius of 60 by 60 rather than 3 by 3. And yes, I really did place 3600 grass plots just to demonstrate this, and now my wrists hate me. Anyways, we've also got the Tree Drops Modifier mod. It does exactly that. So, say for instance you really don't want your trees to drop many seeds, so you can set that variable down to 0.25 times. Or if you really want a lot of planks, you can make that double. That kind of fun stuff. This and the custom growth speed mod are both accomplished using the console, so I'm not going to demonstrate them, but at least you know how they function. Next up is the passive seagulls mod. If you're sick and tired of the gulls always destroying your hard day's work, this mod simply means that these seagulls won't attract your crops or your scarecrows. 
It's kind of like peaceful mode, but just for your crops. And finally, this one really isn't farming technically, but it's related, so I'm keeping it in. It is the More Bananas mod. You can normally grow bananas like this on your raft after you pass a certain story location, but this mod means that all of the cosmetic bananas that you normally find on islands throughout the world are actually harvestable banana trees now. So if we just chop them down, you'll see that we get proper banana drops. So that's it for this farming mod showcase. They're all fairly useful and can definitely change up the way you garden on your raft. So go ahead and check the description for the links if you're interested. But that's it for now, so please leave a like if you've enjoyed and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It's much appreciated. And as always, have a great day.